Our coverage of the MLS All-Star Game continues with Brandon Vasquez of FC Cincinnati. I was just, when you walked up, I was impressed by how big you are, man. You're huge. <laughs> Thank you. You don't seem that surprised by it. Are you, are you I'll surprised? Take that as a, I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah. I'm a little surprised because I was telling him, I remember him in the Cholos Academy. He, he wasn't as lean if you will he's probably a teenager you worked out a lot since then for sure yeah. that was that was what five six seven years ago maybe yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, easy. the gray hairs yeah, haven't come in yet. <laughs> uh so brandon tell me what it's like to to be named to mls all-star team because it was kind of like a, a last minute thing for you. you 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 got on the plane at the last second yeah you know it's uh it's incredible you know i mean uh, i can't take these opportunities for granted um and you know I, i'm i'm beyond grateful to be here and happy and uh yeah i mean i think um i think i i'm up here with these all of these guys you know i deserve it as an all-star it's a great achievement but for you personally mexican-american you mm. grew up watching a lot of these guys you're probably going to face well what's that mean to you for sure i mean uh for me i got one thing on my mind and that's score goals help my team win so regardless of who i'm playing that's uh that's my objective every uh every time i step on the field when you were a kid, I wonder kind of which of the leagues were you watching more? Is it Liga Mekki, MLS? And like, what teams were you watching as you can? As you yeah, I mean, up? when I was growing up and I was playing for Tijuana, then I, I would always only watch Liga Mekis, you know. And then going to Atlanta, then I started watching all the MLS and uh, being super uh, involved in everything that was going on around the league. And Liga Mekis kind of like uh, stood in behind that. Um, so, yeah, I mean. I, I had a little bit of both, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, most recently, a lot of more MLS league. Mackey's uh, haven't been following it as much, um, but but yeah, a little bit of both. What's that been like for you emotionally? Be ca kind of caught in the middle when it comes to the Mexican national team, the U.S. men's national team, league. Mackey's MLS. You know, what's that been like for you? Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's exciting. You know, I mean, it's um, a lot of options. So so it's. But it's, as far as emotion, do you find yourself like every once in a while like? I feel like I find myself rooting here, but I root here. Like, you feel like a little divided. What's going on? For sure, a little bit, you know, because I got Mexico in my blood, but I also grew up in the States and uh, played uh, with the U.S. youth national team as well. So so I got a little bit of both, mm -hmm. you know. I um, I appreciate the, the culture and everything where I come from, but I also uh, enjoy being in the States, yeah. 14 goals so far this season. What's working for you? Hunger. Hunger, I think, is just uh, taking this opportunity and not letting it go. You know, um, hitting the back of the net, being obsessed with that feeling. Yeah. Has anything changed from from years past? Yeah, I think I think opportunity. I think opportunity for sure. You know, I mean, I'm getting a lot more playing time, and that brings a lot of confidence. And uh, having a coaching staff that supports me and a and a good team around me that also uh, helps put me in front of goal. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, the stars are aligning and I uh, I love uh, where I'm at right now. You talk about hunger. What's that hunger coming with? What, what do you want to see with that hunger? What's your goal? Strive for greatness. You know, I, I want to I want to play on the national team. I want to go to Europe. I want to play in the top leagues in the world. I want to play Champions League. I want to I want to strive for the best, you know, and I think that's uh, that's what's pushing me, uh, just being the best athlete and be the best person I could possibly be. So just pushing myself every single day to, to be that. He mentioned national team. He didn't mention which one. Did I want to get to that in a second, but I got to <laughs> ask about FC Cincinnati first. Okay. Um, at the beginning of the season, we do kind of like a prediction segment here mm -hmm. on the show. I said FC Cincinnati would Wooden be the spoon. worst team Wooden in the spoon. league. Obviously, I got it wrong. Like, why was I so wrong? What, what have you guys been able to I do this I don't blame year? you. I mean, the last couple of years. <laughs> it's kind of like it's a fault been, pick. Thank yeah. you. This is yeah. three seasons in a row, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, the past couple of years, just it, it wasn't it in Cincinnati. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. A lot of things going wrong. But this year, it seems like everything is going right. So, it's been... It's been a lot of fun to be part of this group. New GM coming in, new coaching staff. They've switched everything around, the culture around. Everything has been absolutely incredible, and being a part of that team has been uh, nothing short but fun. What's the goal this year? Getting playoffs. That would be making history for FCC, and, uh, yeah, sneak into the World Cup roster for All sure. All right, okay. All Again, right. he didn't tell us which World Cup Go roster. Ahead, so, we'll so tell me about <laughs> where your status is right now at the international level. Who's talking to you and who's not talking to you? U.S. is talking to me. Mexico has not talked to me. Mm. So, so you know how it goes. Um, yeah, I was talking to Anthony Hudson, one of uh, Greg's assistants, a couple nights ago in Cincinnati. He came out to the game to watch. Um, so he was basically just telling me uh, what what the U.S. national team looks for in a number nine, what I do good, what uh, 
what they think I can improve on a little bit, but uh, they're they're happy and impressed with my performances recently, and uh, to keep going, to keep uh, scoring, and uh, yeah, they'll um, there'll be a chance to be with them. What can Brandon Vasquez offer the U.S. Men's National Team? Goals, goals, hold the play, um, creativity up front, um, and strength. Strength, so yeah, I would say that. I, I think the hold up play is something to, to kind of dive down on here because all the advanced analytics suggest you're the, the best hold up player in all of Major League Soccer. Is that something that's always been a part of your game? And how much of that is important to kind of like what you do with FC Cincinnati and maybe in the future the national team? For sure, for sure. That's been a part of my game since I can remember. Um, I used to, when I was younger, I was playing on the, on the wing and uh, I loved having my back on the line. And then when I became uh, taller, the coaches started putting me as number nine and I had to learn how to play with my back to, to goal and having defenders on my back at all times. And, and that's uh, helped me be where I am today with my hold to play. And I think it's an uh, important part of FC Cincinnati's uh, attack. You know, I'm bringing in creative players like Lucho, Brenner, our wingers coming in as well. Um, I think it's important for our attack, and uh, I think I can do that pretty well. Now I want to go back to the national team. You know, players who don't do World Cup qualifying or the lead-up to World Cup generally don't make the flight. Mm -hmm. How much is Wait Qatar? a second, wait a second. I got an example of one yeah, right yeah, here. I was just going to say. I got an example of one. There you go. Well, there you go, all right? We've, uh -huh. we've got a very similar story. Mm -hmm. Even though I was on the outside in, that was always on the back of my mind, that dream, that hope. How much of that is on the back of your mind? How much does that weigh on you? I wouldn't say I'm letting it weigh on me. I think I'm just, uh, I have it on the back of my mind, but like I mentioned earlier, I got one goal on, on my mind and that's uh, perform every time I step on the field. So um, all the buzz that's going on on the outside, I try to not let that affect me. I try to not like let anything on social media. Um, I try to not see any of that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, like I said, I got one thing on my mind and that's perform the best I can and help uh, my team win and score goals. It's one thing to ignore social media. It's hard to ignore the national team manager when he talks about yeah. you. Greg yeah. Berhalter said, hey, this keep, kid keeps scoring at this rate. I, I can't help but call him in. When you hear that from the national team manager, like, what does it do for you? It just shows me that I got to keep doing what, I gotta, what, I, what I'm doing. You know, I can't be complacent with anything. Um, I got a lot to prove and a lot to go, you know. I think this is barely getting started, so I, uh, yeah, you know, it's exciting to have a national team coach say say that stuff about me, and, um, and that's great, but I got to keep performing. I got to keep proving that, uh, that it's the real deal. What about Mexico? Is the door closed? No, nope. I, I got to keep all my options open, you know. You never know. I'm, I got to, you know, like I said, my family's from Mexico. I got Mexico in the blood, so... Um, I uh, still have part of that in me. All right, Brandon. Appreciate the time here yeah. on Football Americas. Good luck with FC Cincinnati and good luck on Wednesday against Liga Mekis. Thank yeah. you, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.